This right here is the future of G-Wagon. And today, I come from the future to show you guys what it looks like. This is the world's only concept EQG, and I got Tuesday helping me out to show you guys around. How are you feeling? Up? How are you feeling? I <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? You hyped? I'm super excited. Hey, I'm buzzing. Guys, they literally brought the EQG to Dubai just for Supercar Blondie, yeah. and we're checking it out today. Yeah. There's only ah. one on the planet. It's right here, and we're gonna review it. We're gonna get, we're even gonna get to drive it. Let's start off with the front. The front. What do we got? Okay, well, at first, you can see it's a G-Wagon, right? Like, yep. even though it's electric, it looks like your G-Wagon. We've got yep. the indicators, we've got the beautiful round lights, yep. but the grill, yep. no more chrome. No more intakes. No more intakes, it's just no got need. Gl glass, a digital display. You Illuminated, know. if you will, sir. Yeah. It comes to life when you turn the car on. And if you guys see, there's these little shapes and they're round squares. The correct name for them is a squircle. It's supposed to be a square and a circle. And it's literally my favorite word now. Yeah, Squirkle. she's been just overusing it. And just getting... the pattern is going to be all yeah. over the car, so you're going to hear a lot yeah. of the squircle. Look at the side strip. I mean, the side strip is sick. This is my favorite part of the car. And it goes white and blue. It goes white and blue. Doesn't really make a difference why. Unfortunately, though, uh, I have a pretty strong feeling that this is not going to make it into production. This car, we have to speculate, is going to be about 75% to 80% of what the production version looks like uh, well, when it comes out in 2025. Because... A few countries don't actually, uh, not that they don't allow, but it's yeah. kind of like a it's edgy. A, like legislation hates these yes. kind of daytime running lights on the side if and I stuff. If I saw blue lights, I would think they're the police or something. Yeah. If but I'm this sure. looks incredible. To be honest, when you look at a G-Wagon lighting up like this, it just looks like it's uh, like from the future. I mean, that's what this car is supposed to be. But there's this... another light up feature here, Sergi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And this Show. is on the, so this isn't a squircle, but it is a round circle oh. in a square. <laughs> I just tried I saw, to get it. Yeah, dude, it, you just <laughs> called it a round circle. A round circle. Well, that's the shape of a circle. <laughs> yeah, on the side mirrors, you got the little circle right there. Daytime no, this running light. Actually, this is an indicator. It was yeah. actually made to marry or match with the front lights yeah. in the front, right over here. Yeah. It huh. looks super cool, but it's not an indicator. It doesn't do anything. Which is strange because, like, you'd expect it to turn orange when you turn, but no, it's just a daytime running no. light. But well, what uh, are the really cool other features? that we know for G-Wagon, the yeah. door still closes Yeah, it makes opens. that sound. Like Boom! That. Like Boom! That. Boom! Like Boom! Boom! Like Boom! Boom! Like Boom. Boom. Military sound, you know, like Jurassic Park kind of sound. <laughs> but what's cool is if you get in closer, right there, you got the G. Any guesses what that stands for? No, Sergi, what does that stand for? It stands for G-Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got the two tones going on. So we have this uh, piano black, gloss black gloss up top. Gloss black, and what's the bottom color? You tell let's him. See, let's see if he you, can remember. You, you, you tell him. You tell him. What what, what, it's gloss aluminum. Beam. Beam. Car companies always get carried away with their names and stuff. Like this to me is just a cool silver, but they call it glass <laughs> aluminum beam. So we got to okay. so memorize all these crazy words. Piano black and yeah. cool, cool silver. Yeah. You got some uh, 22 inch rims. These two alloy designed just for this car. And the tires are actually designed for the car as well. If you guys look at the actual uh, pattern. Like, yeah, tread. like a tread, yeah. And you can tell because these would never work on the road. I mean, you're driving on rain on an electric car with this kind of grip and you're sliding all over the place. It's not gonna yeah. work, but it looks pretty cool. No bueno. Looks pretty cool. Up here, we got a roof rack, Ooh. but what's cool about the roof rack is that from the front, you got a little daytime running light in white. And on the back, you got another light in red. Oh, now that the sun's gone yeah. down, you can really see the yeah. red popping through. Once you get up to the top and actually get an aerial view of it, there's a beautiful clean stamp of a G yeah. for G-Wagon. For G-Wagon? <laughs> what? You're, you're kidding me. There's no it's way. It's your mind uh, right now, damn. right? So the biggest squircle on this car, ladies, is our lockbox. So the G-Wagon is known for having the spare tire yep. at the back no because more. this is electric. No more. No more. Adios. No spare tires. Yeah. Instead, needed. what they got is this little space that you can actually open up. Uh, I can't open it because I don't have the lock. But in there, you just put in like your, uh, what is it like? It's your charging cable. This car is, is still a concept car. I mean, this is the concept EQG. But at the same time, they are trying to show what the future of G-Wagon is going to look like. So this you is meant... You know what I hope they do? What? I want to be able to change the outside lighting yeah, with the cool. ambient lighting. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah. I decide to go like white or pink or yellow, 
my car yeah. actually goes. And you are the reason why legislation has a problem with these kinds of lights. Because you're just distracting people on the road. You're driving, pink. changing pink, yellow, orange. Everyone's like looking around, crashing all over the place. So I'm just that's trying to bring joy and happiness to the world. So do you yeah. stop hating on my game? No, to be honest, uh, yeah. It would be amazing if they did bring it into production. Not so sure about that. And what's super cool that this car has, so there's something called a tank turn. Yeah. Where tanks actually do the 360. Yep, it can do that. It can do that. But they called it a G turn. The G turn. And it's it, G. It looks pretty surreal, to be honest. It's pretty sick. But, anyways, I think it's time to show you guys the inside. What do you think? Ooh, yes. Let's go. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I feel like I've like, stepped into like a snowy, snowy yeah. dream. And down. Lux dream. Here you got Mercedes Benz lighting up, and you got the G on the left right there. No, the G's on the right as well. It's just flipped around. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's like a, a B. No, it's a G. Or maybe it's an M for Mercedes. Or maybe it's an on button. Or maybe it's a, maybe it's a whole Mercedes. Maybe it's M, E, R, G. C, E, D, E. <laughs> and then there's no S. It's like Mercedes. <laughs> just yeah, one. I, I just went down. Just one I just, Mercedes. I just went down like a crazy rabbit hole of Mercedes conspiracy. But anyways, let's go inside. So on the inside, what you have is the same exact interior as the newest G-Wagon. It's exactly the same. But the spec in this car is absolutely incredible. Yeah. It's literally all white, guys. Like, we had to take <laughs> yeah. our shoes off yeah, look, we to got... get inside <laughs> the car. Like, this is not a drive through car. No. You don't get a drive through in a McDonald's here. So what's interesting is with other EQ models, they have the hyper screen. But on this one, they don't. They actually kept the OG Mercedes G-Wagon screen. It's a 12.3, two 12.3 screens that yep. they've got. And and you came up with a really good point. Yeah, I mean, the theory is that they did not include a hyperscreen as much as I like a hyperscreen. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because it just, you know, this is an off-road car. So instead what you have is this big handlebar for the passenger. So, I mean, with an off-road car, a hyperscreen might not make sense. Might be easy to break. What I noticed is the carbon fiber. Yeah, it's like silver. It is. It's uh, It actually, it's a little bit weird, but it matches the white. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, also, what I like is up here, you got a sunroof, right? But when you open it up, dun, dun, dun. You got the rack. It's like what? 50%? It's like, yeah, it's like, it's blocked. So up there, we got the G, you know? We got the G on top because we keep it real. Yeah. And I think like, you know, can you imagine if the G was smaller, you get like a G-shaped tan on your head? It, that'd be pretty cool. Like if there were like little G's on the on the rack. So I think anyways, it's time to drive it. Let's get driving. Drive it? Yeah, all right. It's turning it on. Safety first. This is a concept car. This is not the production model. So we can only go up to 80 kilometers an hour. This doesn't have any kind of launch control. We're going to calmly drive it around uh, the streets of Dubai. All right, put it to drive. All right, ready? Hold on, you don't turn track. Yeah, yeah, it's in drive. <laughs> All right, and we're off. I can see the Mercedes people panicking. Our only EQG. <laughs> Did we make the right decision? Wow. We should have let the girl drive. It's so silent. It's so strange to be driving a G-Wagon and it's this silent. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it, it doesn't sound like a car. Wow, that's so strange. No, it's like, it's like, is... I don't know what it feels like I'm in, but it doesn't feel like a car. Wow. It's also really smooth. Okay, so they don't want to tell us, and they also don't know uh, how fast this car will actually go, how fast it's going to accelerate. They don't really know much about the range. What we do know is that it's a mix between the old uh, G-Wagon as well as the electric, the EQ models. This is freaking sick. <laughs> Woo! All right, <laughs> how crazy does this car look? This is, this is, this is freaking sick, look oh at this. God. This is just wild. This is what you guys think of the only concept. Yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.